Hut, I will be taking you on an adventure today through the uh, Forgotten Realms. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms is the newest magic set. Um, I've opened up a little bit already, so I'm going to show you kind of some of the hits that I got um, and maybe some of the stuff we're looking forward to um, in the next box here. So we got uh, Volo, Grandmaster of Flowers, uh, this cute little Inferno of the Stars mount, Star Mounts. Uh, I'm a big fan of that card. And then these two just, they seem to go real well together. Treasure Vault and Zorn. Um, and then we got uh, everybody's favorite, uh, Mordekine. I think that's how you say that. I've never actually been corrected, so, I mean, feel free. Uh, Icing Death, Frost Tyrant. And then we got the Book of Exalted Deeds, already banned in standard, I believe. That might just be an arena thing. I don't know for sure. Um, and then we did get some of these cool uh, showcasey lands. Um, you know, the more I look at them, the more I like them. I don't know. Uh, verdict's still out on that. Uh, but yeah, we got some cool stuff early on so we're gonna open up another box for you here we can ooh, sorry we can all go on this adventure together and they really armored up this plastic all right come on cooperate there we go Not do a good job of getting these packs out of that box. All right, get out of here. All right, pack one. What are we gonna end up with here? This is always exciting, you know. The new magic sets uh, are always they're always fun. Uh, they do a fantastic job over there at Wizards of the Coast, making things that I don't need but I want. Uh, Basic lands right off the bat. Um, already a big fan of the flavor text on these where they refer to this ancient energy source. Um, yeah, I like them. Uh, they're, they're not anything, you know, life-changing. Um, we got one of these cool... Uh, man, I am drawing a blank on what they call these. Mystical Ar Archive in uh, Strixhaven. Showcase. That's the word. It's a showcase card. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of these. Some people love them. Uh, some people are wrong. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Anything cool for the commons and uncommons yet? Clattering Skeletons. I like that card, actually. It's pretty fun. Forsworn Paladin. Uh, black. It's, I mean, it's a one-drop that does things. Um, you can't really go wrong. And it's... I mean, it's got it's got Menace. That You know, you put some equipment on it, slap some things down, and... I don't know, wreck somebody's day, maybe. Uh, Alright, let's get into pack number two here. No, I, you know, I like the, the spell or the creature cards that they did. I like that. Um, add some versatility to these tokens, maybe even outside of the game. I'm assuming that's what they were, you know, hoping for. And look at this. This little guy just belongs in Kaldheim. Brunor, Battlehammer, right? That, does that not just scream Kaldheim to you? Great card. That, that zero equip cost right off the bat is really nice. All right, some more uncommons. You meet in a tavern. I like that. Uh, plus two mace. It's not, not going to win any awards or anything, but just, I mean, it's a plus two mace. But that's, that's cool. I like that. All right, we got a treasure chest right off the bat. Winning. And a wish. Do you think those two are just conveniently or uh, unironically placed together? And Dungeon of the Mad Mage, our first dungeon. Uh, I like this mechanic. Uh, so far, it's provided a little, little extra entertainment in the games that I've been playing online. Um, I'm a little concerned with tracking dungeon progress outside of the game, but I guess... Yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. 
All right. One of the uh, showcase art cards. This one, I'm 100% okay with. I run Call of Cthulhu here at the store. I like these terrible, horrible, demonic, evil, you know, fantasy things. This, this is a cool art. I like this. I, I can support that card. And then uh, Goblin Javelinier. I said it right this time. Normally when I try to say that name, for some reason, it just does not come out of my mouth correctly. All right, Divine Smite, Drider, Reaper's Talisman, Dwarf. Oh, we got a Drizzt. Cool little Double Strike Elf Ranger, everybody's favorite. Friggin' elves. Then we got a list card, Venerated Teacher. Uh, let's you level things up. That's cool, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure how that made the list. I don't know what their requirements are. But I, part, part, I honestly, I feel like part of the requirements is how useless is this card. And if it's extremely, they just put it on the list. Ah, oh, Neverwinter Dryad. Interesting art. And yes, that's just me being nice. I'm not interested in that art whatsoever. Fates Reverse, Lightfoot Rogue. All right, Zalto, Fire Giant, Duke. Legendary creature, Giant Barbarian. Um, he's trampoly. And then uh, when he takes damage, you get to go into a dungeon. He's... He's a guy. Hand of Vecna. I have opened six of these now. And no other components of Vecna. So, not looking good for uh, our boy to return. And then we got a Bard class. You know, I'm a big fan of the classes. A uh, little extra sauce and uh, commander. Let's you do a couple more things. Um, and anything to, you know, anything to make the game more interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I like the classes. It's... And if they get too annoying, you just blow them up. All right, Blink Dog. Put all your equipment on this guy and swing, because why not? You can just pay for and phase him out, and he'll come back next turn, and he can swing again. Pretty sweet. Chattering Skeletons. I got a lot of zombies in this set, which, I mean, makes sense, I guess. Uh, Yan T Fangblade. I, I actually, I really like this card. For, for a common, it is superior to a lot of commons. Uh, Minsk, the beloved ranger, or as uh, most of us really care, it's got Boo, the legendary hamster on it. It's, it's gorgeous. I mean, come on. It's... And then we got a foil Nadar Selfless Paladin showcase. That one's kind of cool. I like that. And then we got another list card, which is going to be a stone giant. Like I said before, that still stands. A card that doesn't do a lot. But hey, why not just reprint it because... Alright, we got a Dire Wolf Prowler. 3 drop for a 2-2 two -two that can become a 4-4 four -four if your opponents decide not to block it. Pretty cute. I've, I've killed a few people with that on Arena. Alright, another Barbarian... Or not another, but another class... Barbarian class this time. Um, critical hit. That's fun. That is a fun card. Man, the flavor in this set is great. All right, we got a Circle of the Dreams Druid. Circle of Dreams Druid. It's Gaia's Cradle on a little wimpy 2-1. And then a Moldervine Reclamation is our list card. I mean, that's fine. That's, that's a usable card, I suppose. So they're not all busts, I guess. Ooh, got them stuck together. Oh, we got an autograph of uh, Peter Dura. I, sorry if that's not how you say your name. Our, oh, we got a Pegasus. Arborea Pegasus. Probably didn't say that right, but nobody's going to correct me because there's nobody else in the store. That's how that works. I come in early and I can say things because people aren't here to correct me. Meteor Swarm, big fan. Died of that a few times. All right, we've got a Lost Mine of Fendelver. 
This is uh, this is a fun one. It's I, all three of the um, dungeons are cool. I like them. We got the Demi Lich art card. I mean, just why magic was you know taboo in the nineties. Mom saw this card and they told us uh, young boys that it's too demonic to play. And it's cards like this. It's art like this, and that's the reason. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying. Moms did not approve of that. Oh, there it is. Portable Hole. Fantastic, fantastic card. Legacy, modern, vintage, here we come. Probably not. All right, Cleric Class. Nobody cares because there's a Volo right here. Wow, this is a good pack. We got a Volo Guide to Monsters. Um, just, he's just good, I guess. He's, uh, there's the new blue-green commander staple. Um, and then we got the Arch Lich. So double legendary creature pack. Both great. Uh, that feels good. Now I'm concerned that the rest of the box is just going to be a big, huge letdown. There's no way, right? Mountain. Underdark Basilisk. Cool card, right? I want two Death Touch. I mean, <clears throat> it's going to block the biggest thing on the board, so it doesn't really need to be a 1 2, but whatever. I didn't make the card, I don't make the rules. Ingenious Smith. You know, there's some hope for this card outside of this set. It's, I don't know, we'll see. We will see. I'm going to get caught up in some modern ranting. Yanti Malison, another pretty good card, actually. I, it's not great, not life-changing, but it's fun. Um, we got a long rest here, and then I did get a sneak peek at my list card, and I'm quite happy with this. Uh, it's a Hermit Druid. Freaking amazing. Hermit Druid. Sorry, I just about dropped the F-bomb on stream there, or on camera. That would have been bad. Sorry, moms and dads. Well, I'm assuming you're not watching this with your children, so you're probably okay with it. Or if you're a child watching this, you're probably not watching it with mom and dad, so. Bruner Battlehammer, awesome card. Ranger's Hawk. Westgate Regent, that's... It's a card. I don't know, we'll see. Verdict's out on that one. <clears throat> I'm not, not overly excited about it. It's flying. It's a five drop. It does a few things. It has ward. Oh, the gel is that the gelatinous? Yeah, gelatinous cube. Everybody's nightmare. I've seen entire parties die to that thing. Oh, and then we just got the mimic to go with it. That's that's above average. Bull's strength. A little combat trick for those of you that like to trick people. Adult Gold Dragon. MVP in draft. Or sealed, probably. Uh, that 4-3 lifelink flying haste is a thing. And it makes people cry. There's a few things in the set that kill it. So it's not invulnerable to, uh, to death, but it can prove to be difficult to remove... Um, if you're not if you're not withholding a, a kill spell, which you know, who knows? Oh, dragon turtle, heck yeah! Everybody loves dragon turtles. Plus, you get the showcase art, so win win. Baleful beholder, it's pretty cool foil actually. Uh, you know, some of these foils really turned out nice. And then we got a dungeon of the mad mage. Like the the uh, showcase art foils do look great. I have to give them credit where credit is due. All right, we got a full art red dragon to start us off here. That's a little disappointing as a full art, but it's it's a dragon, so, I mean, who's going to cry, really? You see a pair of goblins. Well, kill them. That's the, that's the bit, right? All right, true polymorph. Great card. Everybody's favorite magic or D&D &D spell, right? Asmodeus, this 
is like the fifth Asmodeus I've opened. Real tired of his bullshit. No, that's not. I mean, I am, but it's that seems like a pretty good card. Oh, look at that. We got a little owl bear here. I don't even need to look at the back of the card to know what that is. It's fun. And then we got uh, Tinkerbell on meth. A little pixie guide here. It's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. Pixie guide. We like to roll dice. Might as well pick the better of the dice that you roll, right? Skeletal swarming. Uh, cool enchantment. Um, really needs to say zombies or skeletons. But uh, Wizards has not uh, called me for a uh, for a job yet in R and D, so I guess the uh, verdict's still out on that too. All right, what do we got next? I know these have the pull tab, but I just I despise it as a store owner. They make such a mess in here. <clears throat> All right, we got the plus two mace again, blue dragon. Oh wow. I, got, I see a card that I haven't opened yet. Uh, Den of the Bugbear. You know, these lands aren't terrible. Um, you know, it's nice to have a land in a sealed format that actually does something instead of, you know, just being a land. Minion of the Mighty, it's a kobold. I mean, that's, that's cute. All right, so we finally got a different component to Vecna. We got Vecna's Eye. Foil, so that's cool. But that is the first non-hand component of Vecna that I have opened. And actually, you know what we're going to do? So I'm going to pluck the hand of Vecna out of there and fling one of those other cards out of here. And we'll just put those together there, because, you know, I would assume they've been apart long enough. Forest Hama. The Rune Seeker showcase, cool. Proud of you. Good job. Way to go, team. Uh, Perilous Innkeeper, pretty cool actually. I like this card. Seems, you know, it just the card itself isn't the greatest, but I I'm a fan of you know just it. And then we got a uh, we got old Gnawbone right right here, just just hanging out. Good old Gnawbone. Look at that beaut. That is. Solid pull. And then we did get a foil white dragon, which is, you know, it is what it is. It's a six drop that does a thing. But it's shiny, so we're all about the shinies. That's a cool. I'm not going to show it on the little camera, though. Ah, there we go. Look at that little beast. It's adorable. Uh, Targnar, Demon Fang Knoll, pretty good card. Uh, especially for two mana. Um, he's an Angie boy. Oswald the Fiddlebender. Little gnome artificer. Legendary gnome. Everybody's favorite, right? Everybody wants a legendary gnome in their party. Swamp, Pegasus, Javelinier, another Pegasus. Look at all these cool cards. All right, we got the Ranger class. Uh, this You get that leveled up to three in Commander, it's going to get blown up just because. And then we got another uh, Dragon Turtle. Look at that. Foil, Dragon Turtle, alternate art. To go with our non-foil dragon turtle up here. And then we got a bloodied ghost from the list. It's fun, right? Comes into play with a negative one, negative one counter on it. Not if you have... Oh, uh, geez, what's her name? The girl that says you can't have negative one, negative one counters on your stuff. Yeah, real descriptive. Actually, that is pretty descriptive, so I'll let you guys figure it out from there. Uh, we got a Gretchen, Thieves Tools, then another Barbarian class. Tasha's Hideous Laughter, I'm out on that card. Milling seems bad. Um, 
<clears throat> just goes right into exile. You can't even infinitely mill people. So what's the fun of that? Hmm? Come on. They exile cards from the top. That's not even not even a real thing. Like, who approved that? Druid class, wild shape. It's above average. Another blink dog. Oh, I see a... Ooh, it's a full art green planeswalker. I wonder who that could be. Ellie Wick. Look at her. <clears throat> big fan, big fan. I love the art on this card. Just, I just, this card to me is, it's probably my favorite. It might not be a great card, but this might be my favorite card in the set. And you can hate me all you want for it. I just, I like it. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just got a very pleasing aesthetic to it. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, those words sounded good together in my brain, and they came out and sounded nice, so yeah. All right, Zariel, and then another full art foil here, Black Dragon. That's a little disappointing. All right, so back to back Mythic packs, foil, full art, Black Dragon. I guess I'll show that off. It's the art is cool. I cannot, I can't argue with anybody that says that. All right, what else? What are we doing? We got a planes, a moon dancer showcase, tricksters talisman. Let's get to the good stuff. All right, we got a werewolf pack leader. <clears throat> um, I think this is a good card. Again, not you know, not life changing by any means, but it's. I mean, you swing with a lot of things, you get to draw a card. Seems seems worthwhile. All right, we got another signed autograph, Purple Worm. Um, Oliver, thank you for your signature. I'm sure your hand was very tired after, tired after signing all these cool art cards that you do. Evolving Wilds. It's ne it needed a reprint. They're getting pretty hard to find. All right, Paladin class. That's, that's a solid little class. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Excellent, excellent card. I only say that because I've died to it a few times on Arena because you just don't see it coming if you're not paying attention. Weird how that works, right? I know. I know. It's logical. Got a swamp, some skeletons, Eyes of the Beholder. Because they have a lot of eyes. Fly, 50 feet of rope, cloister gargoyle. All right. And a Grandmaster of Flowers. Is that our third Planeswalker out of the... I think it is, yeah, out of this box. I remember when those used to be really rare. Is it our third one? We got... Yeah, it is. Yep. Now we're just missing... Oh, the Spider Girl. What's her name? Uh, all right, well, let's just skip right to the... Full art green dragon. That's cool art. I'm a big fan of this one not being foil because the foils make me want to punch myself. Rogue class. Hey, you know what's really good in uh, draft is uh, ripping those on your packs more than once. Cradle guard is our promo or our uh, list card. Eh. It's a tree folk with trample. 4-4 four, four for 3 with echo. Hits a card. It does some things. Tiamat to the art card. I mean, okay, I approve. Does that mean there's a Tiamat in the pack? Highly unlikely. Power word kill. Warlock class. Fun card. Inspiring bard. Hobgob Hobgoblin bandit lord. Fun. Shifted a little bit more. And then we got a foil monk class. My wife will be very happy with that one. Uh, she plays a monk in one of our D&D &D, um, campaigns, and she is really good at punching things. It's kind of embarrassing for the rest of us because she's our tank slash problem solver slash 
I mean, she just punches everything. Instrument of the Bards. This is the first one of these I've opened as well. Cool card. The art's great. Everybody's loving it. Instrument of the Bards. Fantastic. Thank you, Wizards, for that wonderful flavor. Legendary artifact. Green. Mountain. Rust monster. Okay, this is a cool... The art on that one's pretty above average as well. Contact another plane. You know, I like all the dice rolling, but man, is this going to slow the game down. All right, we got a full art something. It's got red on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Full art adult gold dragon. That is beautiful right there. They did a fantastic job on that card. Well, someone did. And we did get a foil dragon's fire to kill the adult dragon, so so that's a thing. And then we did get an archive trap as well as a list card. You like making people mill? That will help you mill. <clears throat> All right, we got a couple left. I think there's one more after this pack. Let's see here. Let's skip to the good. Sorry, I'm getting a little off the camera there. I apologize. All right, another dragon turtle. Man, this is just our card. Look at that. Three dragon turtles in this box. I am building a dragon turtle deck. Standard dragon turtles, here we come. I mean, it's pr honestly, it's not actually the worst card. It's, it's pretty good for all, all intents and purposes. Oh, look at that. This is our first weird one, I think, right? The... I say weird one, but you know what I mean. The the uh, the showcase of whatever the hell this is. I, I, sorry, I just can't remember the name of those specific ones. Sphere of Annihilation is our final rare. I'm I like the card. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I guess to highlight what we got here. Let's see here. We got an adult gold dragon, which is beautiful. Old Gnawbone. I mean, we got a hermit druid. That's pretty cool. I, it's not worth a lot to anybody, but Instrument of the Bards, I've got a lot of hope for. We got a foil eye of Vec. Asmodeus. The Archlich. Volo. Um, Grandmaster of Flowers. Zariel and Eliwick. Like, we did pretty dang good, I think, as far as, uh, you know, playability is concerned for my commander decks. Unfortunately, these are all going to end up in the store's case. Um, I guess, uh, you know, kind of unfortunate. I do need to make money to keep the store open, so there is that. Um, but yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you can check out us playing some of these cards over the weekend on our Twitch stream. Um, it's just Fats Hut. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you there. And uh, 